So it's a bit of a wet day out here on the streets. Rained, uh, it rained overnight. Just stopped actually, maybe a couple hours ago. So you can see it's still kind of overcast, kind of wet, a little humid, but wanted to take a walk around, uh, around the neighborhood here where I've been staying in Cordoba because I'm actually about to leave, uh, get on a plane, head out to Mendoza. So our next city, Mendoza, out in the, uh, in the western part over by Chile. But uh, before I left, definitely wanted to give a shout out to this neighborhood and uh, I really, really enjoyed staying in this neighborhood as well. Um, this one is Barrio General Paz, or if you're American, the neighborhood of General Paz. So why do I like this neighborhood? Well, it's a very different neighborhood from, from Wilde, where we were staying in, uh, in Buenos Aires province. This neighborhood, Wilde was like further outside of the city, you had to take a train to get into the city. But out here, this place is like pretty much right in the center of the city. I mean, more or less. The old neighborhood that we've been going to, like to see the cathedral. And uh, what else did we see over there? Plaza San Martin and the House of Sobramante. Those places, those are in like the old historical center, center part. And... Uh, that neighborhood is like very touristy there's a lot of tourists walking around but there's also just a lot of like foot traffic all the time through there um, it's just a very not just a popular neighborhood for like sightseeing but also um, like there are lots of bank branches there there's lots of money changers there so like there's a lot of people coming through there all the time it's a very very busy neighborhood and uh, when I was looking at places, some of the places I was looking at were in that neighborhood. And I actually came pretty close to, uh, to choosing one of those places and staying in that neighborhood. And after staying here in General Paz, um, I'm actually really glad that I didn't choose that neighborhood because this neighborhood is very close. It's basically like right across the river, the Sucre River from the center. You know, it's like less than a mile walk to get right to the center to San Plaza San Martin. And this neighborhood is like much more chill. It's just more relaxed. Um, there are there are a lot, a lot of like uh, places to eat and whatnot around here. Restaurants, bars, a lot of shops, things like that within walking distance. So that's really good. But it's got a lot more of a relaxed vibe I mean I'm walking around now it's morning there's not a lot of people on the streets but you know even in the the busiest busiest times there are people walking around the streets for sure it feels like the neighborhood is alive which is good but um, there's also not too many people you're not like constantly bumping into people um, you're not having to like you know squeeze up against the building to let huge groups of people by. It's a good balance of, uh, of being like a lively neighborhood, but also being a very relaxing sort of chill neighborhood. And uh, one of the things I mentioned in the video about Wilde was that I'm not much of a like nightlife person. That's not necessarily true. Um, you know, I like to go out at night, enjoy like a beer, a couple drinks, something like that. But I don't like to do it in, you know, like a place uh, like Palermo, for example. I keep, I kind of keep shitting on Palermo in, uh, in Buenos Aires, but I don't know. It's just not really my type of, uh, my type of neighborhood. There's an area in Palermo with like tons of bars and they're all like right next to each other. And all of them are just out like blasting, blasting music, super loud. Um, and that's just not like my kind of thing. What I like is this neighborhood has a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, and a lot of like outdoor seating. You know, they'll put tables out on the sidewalk. And, and there's a lot of people out enjoying themselves, having fun, laughing, having drinks with their friends and whatnot. But it's got a real chill vibe. There's not a lot of loud, blasting music. And, um, you know, it's just more 
more relaxed. So there's definitely a nightlife here that you can experience, but it is, it's more relaxed. And I like that. And I think that might be because like this neighborhood is uh, almost got run over there. In this neighborhood, I've noticed there's like a lot of um, families, especially like young families, you know, like a young couple with like a young kids. And uh, it has that sort of um, young professional kind of vibe to it, which is kind of nice. There's a plaza right over by where we were staying. Um, plaza Alberti, which I think they put it there in, I don't know, the sign says 1919. And that's kind of when this whole neighborhood was like, when they expanded out into this neighborhood, when it was really developed. It was in like the early 1900s. But uh, Plaza Alberti, the place is really nice, and I've noticed every night I go out there, especially on like a Saturday night or a Sunday night, that place is just packed with tons of people just hanging out, enjoying the evening, because of course it's cooler in the evening. And uh, you know, the kids are out playing on the park equipment, there's like a big carousel in there that people can like ride on and you just see people just sort of hanging out on the benches chatting and enjoying the evening that's a really really good vibe i really like it um walking through there like just you know even though i'm, I'm like here by myself uh, in argentina just walking through there like you sort of like soak up the vibe a little bit you know what i mean it makes you feel good or at least made me feel good so I really enjoyed that, and uh, actually, you know, let's walk over. We'll walk over towards uh, towards that plaza, so you can take a look at it before we uh, finish the video here. But um, another thing about this neighborhood, like I said, there's a lot of restaurants around. Of course, because it's Argentina, there's a lot of heladerias, you know, ice cream shops. Here's one right here that I personally liked a lot: Familia Casa de Helados. But, um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of choice when it comes to shops around here, which I really liked. You know, it's not just like one carniceria and one vegetable market. There's, there's like a bunch of them. And I had about a month here, so I was able to sort of like try out each one see which ones I like the best um, and they they're all different in their own way they're all good some are a little more expensive than others but just in general everybody who I met when I was out here living in the neighborhood bouncing around different shops cafes and whatnot they've been really nice like uh, a few videos ago, we went to um, when we went out to Alta Gracia to go to the uh, Casa de Che. That um, that was all like a conversation that I had with these two nice women who were working at this cafe around here. They sort of helped me out, told me how to get to the bus terminal so I could get out there and uh, and actually see it because I was a little confused as to how exactly I was going to get out there. Anyway, here we're here at the plaza. Shooting across the street here. So you can see, like, there's a park where the kids can play. There's benches where the adults can sit and relax, talk to each other. There's a few little, like, food stalls. This one right here. Over on the other side of the park is where that carousel is. And uh, in the middle... There's a big plaza with like a Argentine flag and a monument. Very, very, very classic kind of Argentina plaza. Um, and you know, different neighborhoods around, they're gonna have plazas like this, but I don't know, this one, it feels especially lively. Right now, of course, it's, you know, it's in the morning. There's nobody here, but just imagine this with like, I don't know, like a thousand people. <laughs> Uh, just people walking around, kids playing soccer out here, um, kids playing on the 
playground equipment over there. Uh, all the families sitting on all these benches, chatting, hanging out by the fountain here. It's a very nice, uh, very nice neighborhood and a very nice plaza here. I really, really enjoyed it. And our apartment that we were staying at is like right over there by where that like big, oh, hold on a second. Yeah, like where that white van is. Our apartment was basically like right there. So we were like right next to this plaza. We'd come out here and hang out, We'd walk across the plaza every day. And there's a major street right over here on this side of the plaza where it was super easy to uh, catch a bus, catch a cab if you need to. And uh, yeah, the whole area, very, very nice. And like I said, it's super, super close to the center of the city. If you want to get over into the center of the city and you want to go to Plaza San Martin or any of the things that are over there, all you got to do is just head down this street right here, this main street I was talking about, in that direction. And you go like two blocks, there's a bridge, you cross the bridge, you go another block, and then you're there basically. So very close. And uh, like I also mentioned, that's a good shops and cafes around here. This one, specifically, Pane Cafe, has uh, very, very good coffee and uh, also very good Media Lunas. Now, on a little bit of a tangent here, I've been a uh, connoisseur of Media Lunas since I've been here and uh, I don't even know if I've ever described in a video what a Media Luna actually is for people who don't know. But basically, it's like a little croissant that is sweet. So it's a croissant that has like a sweet glaze on top of it, um, if you can imagine that. And if you can imagine that, you probably want to eat one right now because um, it's absolutely as delicious as it sounds. But not all Media Lunas are created equal, and some are better than others, of course. I've had some that are really good. I've had some that are really bad. I think I mentioned that I did have many Alunas at McDonald's. And to be honest, if you catch them when they're warm and they're fresh, actually not that bad. But that place right there, Pani Cafe, holy, they got a really, really good many Alunas, not gonna lie. Very, very delicious. Especially if you catch them when they're fresh. Anyway, like you can see, there's a restaurant right here on this corner we're going past. A restaurant across the street. Cafe on that corner bar right next to it and then uh, you know down the street there's like a kiosk a couple of other places basically everything I needed was right around here in this neighborhood didn't have to really go anywhere else to get done all the things that I wanted to get done in any given day other than like you know going to see any of the locations that we wanted to film but um, yeah I think that's about it we're getting close back to the apartment here went through the park um, also you know just north of here maybe like three blocks there's a little park um, well that's a you know it's a bigger park than this plaza but it's more of a park like with green space lots of trees this is more of a plaza and that park up there um, it's nice to have but right across that park that's where the uh, Museum of Industry was where we found all those awesome old classic cars and right across the street from there there is like a mall and a hiper mercado which is basically what you would think of as like if you're american it's basically like a walmart with a grocery store like a super walmart so they have some you know home goods stuff like walmart does but they also have like a big big supermarket american style supermarket and those places aren't as common as they are in the United States. So it was actually nice to have one really close within walking distance. So that if I had to walk, um, or if I had to get something, you know, that I couldn't get uh, at like one of the little places around here, I could just uh, walk up there to get it. That was really nice. And uh, yeah, like just up this way, up this block. Here, we'll walk uphill. We're not going to walk all the way there, but we'll walk a little of the ways. 
up this block maybe maybe like yeah three blocks up this way go across the park and you're right there so like I said the neighborhood it's got everything you want and it's not too uh, not too loud at night not too uh, you know like dead during the days a lot of stuff going on but not too much stuff going on kind of like a good Goldilocks zone neighborhood I would say and um, I don't know exactly how expensive it is to live in this neighborhood. I can really only judge by the, um, you know, how much I paid for my Airbnb. And my Airbnb was uh, it's pretty affordable, a little bit more expensive than the one in uh, in Wilde in Buenos Aires, but not too much more. Definitely not, you know, significantly more. So I don't know. Maybe someone knows this neighborhood a little better than me. They can write down in the comments how expensive it is to like live in a neighborhood like this. It seems like it's a, you know, like I said, it seems like it's a pretty nice neighborhood. Um, it feels very safe also. When I walk around at night, this neighborhood feels um, like it feels like there's, there's locals out on the streets just hanging out, chatting with each other, walking around with their kids, you know, all the way out into like... 10, 11 o'clock at night, and that makes me feel, of course, a lot more comfortable when you see that people out walking their dogs, and they all seem pretty comfortable with the neighborhood, so it seems pretty safe to me. The host for my Airbnb told me that, yeah, this neighborhood is pretty safe. Um, if you go a little bit further in certain directions, it gets a little more sketchy, like if you walk from here over towards the... Uh, bus terminal eh, there are some neighborhoods like the neighborhood in between here and the bus terminal that felt a little bit sketchy but I don't know I was walking through there usually early in the morning nothing really feels too sketchy early in the morning but that's another I guess bonus about this neighborhood it's walking distance to the uh, omnibus terminal it's a bit of a longer walk it's probably about 25 minutes to walk there so like a little over a mile but it's definitely doable. You can walk there easily. If you don't want to walk, you can take a cab from this neighborhood and it'll get you there in just a couple minutes and it'll only cost maybe like two bucks to get there. So from the omnibus terminal, you can get anywhere in like Cordoba province. There are buses that go to all the small towns, you know, outside of the city. There are buses that go to the smaller cities in Cordoba province that are farther away. And then there are also buses that'll take you all the way out to other cities in other provinces, Salta, Mendoza, Rosario, Santa Fe, Buenos Aires. And you know, if you, if you don't wanna to pay to do a, a flight, if you don't wanna fly, you can definitely take a bus. It's a lot cheaper, it's gonna be a lot longer ride, but like I said, tons of bus companies tons of options and this neighborhood all you got to do is just walk maybe like 20 minutes and then you're there so it really opens up a lot of opportunities if you're here visiting and you don't want to just see what's here in the city of Cordoba but you also want to go out into the province or other parts like out to Vicia General Belgrano like we went or Alta Gracia or any of those places really easy to get to from the bus terminal. All right, so we're back on our block. There's the old ice cream place we walked past before. And uh, I guess that's it. I don't know what else there is to say about this neighborhood. It's very, it's very nice. Um, like I said, the Goldilocks neighborhood. There's enough going on to keep you, to keep you uh, entertained. And uh, there's, not so much going on that you want to, you know, run away from the neighborhood, basically. So, I guess that's about it. This guy with a loud motorcycle here, so I think it's about time we, uh, we cut the video also because we're getting back to the apartment. So, I guess that's it. If you ever come to Cordoba, Argentina, you need a place to stay, I would definitely recommend this, um, this neighborhood, Barrio. Paz. Mm -hmm.